Hey guys, got a new addition to the channel. Thought I would spend a bit of money and get a little drone quadcopter thingy majig. Decided to get one with GPS satellite navigation and GPS hold, altitude hold, all the fancy features that help a newbie not crash his brand new semi expensive quad drone straight into the ground or. You know, fly it so high it loses signal and takes off. But yeah, done a bit of searching around. Wouldn't mind one of the DJI's or the Mavic Pro, but there's no way I would send that up into the sky without having some kind of freak out session on the ground. So, tried a couple of toy ones, had a bit of fun, it's a good laugh. Kind of scary as well. Um, stuck a GoPro on my little kids. Little small one, the uh, X101, I think it's a MJX X101, and that took a GoPro up. I mean, that thing went up at least 80 90 meters in the air with a GoPro attached to it. It's just a silly little toy, but yeah, I looked online, checked some reviews, looking for something really good and something long range. This came up the Hubson 501S X4 FPV brushless motor quadcopter. Uh, out of the box it's meant to do 100 metres, the signal distance is 300 metres but the FPV screen to watch is about 100, some people say it's less than that but with a quick firmware update which I have already done I'll take this out of the way I already had done the firmware upgrade on both, I've upgraded the Hubson and the controller and the receiver transmitter and what was the, the antenna mod they're looking for a couple of antennas up here I'll drill a couple of holes and fit them in clip them on the circuit board should boost the range at least from the hundred meters out of the box to between 800 and a thousand meters anyway at least but I might get a 2.4 signal booster to see if I can try and extend that range over a kilometre but yeah decent setup for the price nearly every other drone that has it, all the features that this has is like about a thousand pound and more so all round package, small, neat I've ordered a bag it's going to fit into a little backpack so it's not too much of a carry on to get it places but yeah, flight time's about 20 minutes, so camera's meant to be okay on pictures and panoramic shots. A HD quality camera. It's got the FPV screen so you can see you're in flight. You can hook up to a set of goggles so you can put the goggles on, it look like you're flying the drone. <laughs> Don't know about that though. I still got to get, to, still got to even fly this shit. I've been practicing with the other drones. Uh, just waiting for the first good day of weather and we're going to take this outside. All the settings are all the way they should be. So it'll just be some final tweaking on the first burn of the battery. Uh, I'll maybe give the battery a few cycles. Just set it up once it's set up and hover it off the ground till the battery runs down. and Not totally down but down to about 7 volts and then recharge. But yeah, we want to get some panoramic shots of our metal detecting. We're at the foot of the mountains here in Scotland, so it's better than looking at some woodland. Or wherever I am at the time, you're only looking down at the holes I'm digging. But yeah, we can get some drone footage up, check the area that I'm searching. Like see some mountain ranges, lush green Scottish ground. See the area around. But yeah, I uh, can't remember what was thing yet. The, when I was looking for this quadcopter there was a bit of issues of whether it was good or not and they brought out a much better version allegedly but after speaking to some guys that do some of the modifications on these things and they reckon they're really good really really good there's not many drones that will get 20 minutes fly time straight off 
out the box to the distances this thing will get and uh, not many do that at all some of the even more expensive ones don't even fly as long as this and then you've got the option of velcroing another battery underneath and getting up to half an hour on it so for FPV that would be good but yeah always fancied flying it about they're becoming the latest craze thought I could get into that I've flown a couple of little remote control things, toy planes and stuff. Rubbishy ones like, but yeah, judging on this, I'll update the video and let you know, like the first time I try it, I'm going to be freaking out about sending this up in the air, but I'm just going to do it. May as well do it first time. So as soon as we get it stable, we're just going to send it straight up. Maybe put it up 100, 200 meters, have a good blast, look around and try the fail-safe mode and flick return to home and see if it'll come back to me and land right in front of me. That's the plan. Just to get the fear out of the way. And then I'll not worry until one day it just flies off on its own. Free as a bird. Yeah, and then I'll be like, whoa. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll keep you updated. We'll even get some footage of this thing flying. It's like a total beginner... Not a beginner drone, but it's a sophisticated drone that beginners can fly because it's got automated features, like it drives itself. You know, you can, there's a button there, so like no matter which way it's facing, if it starts to get out of control, that you can just pull back as back, forward as forward, no matter which way you're facing. Your controller is where it's headed to, you just aim it where you want. And it takes the... 3D-ness out of the flying which make it a lot lot easier less axis there is the less concentration and input it needs but yeah basically you can make it just hover there just hover right in front of you it's a pretty cool drone yeah you could take your hands off the controls it's got follow me mode where you just touch your button and this thing will just turn around no matter where it is, just turn around. You look on your little screen in here. You look in the little screen, you can see yourself, you can send this way up or way, way further back. You aim it anywhere you want and no matter where you walk with this controller, this drone will follow. Pretty cool. So yeah. I'll be able to film myself doing a gold dance with a drone. Fingers crossed. But, yeah. Just thought I'd give you guys a shout out. Let you see. And maybe one of you might even be interested in getting a drone. Giving it a try. Scary stuff. But yeah. Let me know guys. I've never really flown drones like the two toy ones I've been playing with. We've had them up in the air a, a bit of height, but never flew them around left, right, swiveling in and out of trees, none of that business, so this is still a bit of a panic for me. So if it's an epic fail and a crash, chances are this will be the last drone. We'll move on to stuff with wheels. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, man. I've been checking out so much information on the thing about the the company Hubson and it's other company Hubson US. A uh, nice young lady Annie there, she's helped with the firmware package, helped get that out to us. It was really good because beforehand I was hearing a lot of horror stories about when you push some of the function buttons, the thing just starts to spiral out of control and drop out of the sky. Hopefully that's fixed. <laughs> but yeah. Well, Maybe see you in a few days if the weather clears up for a good drone flight. See how stable it is for a newbie. See if it just wants to take off. Can't wait. But yeah, soon we'll have video shots for the mountains. Should be fun. Alright guys, we'll catch you for now. Thanks for looking. The drone has been a... Hubson H501S, it's a brushless motor, HD camera, quadcopter, in the box it also came with some an extra 
set of propellers, so two sets. Uh, the little key for holding on to the motor while turning the props on. So it keeps the motor still. But yeah, also got the charger, a really rubbishy charger may I add. It was rattling about, I thought I need to open this up and check this out. Opened it up and all the columns of plastic inside this thing that the screws were going down into were, were all snapped. So by the time I opened it, there was no going back together. So that's taped shut, but a piece of rubbish. I'll be getting a proper balance charger anyway because LiPo batteries can be a bit shady. But yeah, that's all I could really say for just now guys, but absolute crack a bit of kit. Show you the switches up here for this, your return to home, your GPS, your altitude hold. Uh, sticks, you've got your trim buttons up and down here, your power button. Uh, you can click for headless mode and follow me mode. And there's a video button, a photo button. But yeah, it takes four AA batteries and it eats batteries quite fast. Other people have been talking about doing a, I'm not just talking about, I've seen it. It's a LiPo 2S battery mod where they just set up a new connector. Mine doesn't have the connector on the inside of the back. I've seen other people's have a, I think they call it a JSD connector. Mine doesn't seem to have that, but yeah. Pretty funky little tool. Doesn't want to play ball. Yeah, it shows you all your telemetry, your GPS of the controller as well as the drone. Gives you all your telemetry, one of them. Telemetry, it's got your your height, like your altitude, your distance away from you, the speed you're travelling. On this side it has like your pitch, which is how much you're tilted over. I know that's roll. The pitch is how much it's tipped forward and rolls how much to the side. It shows you all that information. Pretty cool. Handy stuff. All down here, these little... It just moves, shows you you got full range. It's even got a mode which is dodgy. <laughs> it's got a mode where you can uh, stick it into like expert mode. But when you're pushing the sticks, if you push the sticks to the full, as far as they'll go, it automatically goes into a flip. So if you don't know about that and you start flying these things and it's in expert mode, and you give the sticks full tilt, you know, one minute you'll just be going along, building up speed, and then woof, just fall from the sky. I've seen a lot of people having that issue and saying it's the quadcopter, but actually that's a setting. That's to make it more acrobatic in the air for, well, for pro users. Now, if you're a newbie, you want it in safe mode so that it's in GPS, it's controlled. When you let go of the sticks, it just sits in the air like it's put the brakes on. So, ideal little tool. Anyway, this video has gone on too long. You guys should check out Hubson. If you're interested in a drone, I'd maybe say this is the minimum you should go for. There's a couple of cheap toys out there, but that's exactly what they are. They break on impact on landing if you come in a bit too hard, or they don't have features like stay still in the air. Yeah, you should have a look. But, we'll have a video up soon, guys, to show you the mountains. Take care, ciao for now.